Welcome back. So now we've talked about creating from scratch content to inject into OneNote, but this time let's talk about existing content. Now I've muddied up my quick notes section enough I think for now, so I'm going to shift gears a little bit and move into a different spot of my notebook. I'm going to jump into my professional section group. Now remember, the professional section group isn't just a section, it's actually a collection of sections. By clicking inside, you'll see I'm now still inside the OneNote Notes notebook. But I'm also now within the professional section group, and it's here that you'll see my two separate professional sections, Bugler LLC and LearnIt. Now, of course, within LearnIt, you'll see, if you remember from the beginning, we injected an instructor's page, a sales page, and an executive page. It's here inside these three pages that I'd like to inject some existing file content that I have on hand. Now, with everything that we've discussed here, one of the things that hopefully you've taken away from now is that when we're trying to insert something, we're probably going to be inside the Insert tab. Here inside the Insert tab, in particular, I'd like to focus on the Files command group here, where I can work with file printouts, file attachments, or, as we'll see in just a moment, Spreadsheets. For now, let's focus on the first one, File Printout. Now the File Printout, if you hover over it, you'll see that it adds a printout to the file of this page. One of the interesting things that comes along with that is that OneNote is actually capable of searching text that's inside these OneNote printouts. So let's take a look and see how that looks. I'm going to click on File Printout, and you'll see that it'll ask me to choose the document I'd like to insert. In this instance, I've got a project I've been working on that I'd like to share with the other instructors soon. For now, I'm going to go into my Active Projects file and find the Intro to Devices running Windows 10. And I'll click Insert. It'll take just a moment, but what it's doing now is it's actually printing that file into OneNote. When it's done, you'll see that I'll have every single page inside of my Microsoft Word document injected into OneNote. And there it is. So as I scroll down here, you'll see this is every single page inside of my project. Pretty cool. However, this might take up a little bit more room than you anticipated. So that brings us to our second file attachment style. Let me go ahead and undo here. And this time, let's take a look at file attachment. By clicking on it, once again, it gives me the insert file window view. I'll select intro to devices running Windows 10 and I'll select Insert. Interestingly, you'll notice that this window too includes the ability to print out the file, keeping in mind that this means the file will be searchable inside of OneNote. It also gives me the ability to attach the file. I'm going to go ahead and try that out. You'll see that it now gives me a simple shortcut icon to the file on my computer. So there's a big distinction between getting a file printout and just simply attaching the file into OneNote. While this one is more space conscious, it's not searchable, unfortunately. Now that we've talked a little bit about Word documents, let's talk about the third style of file attachment, spreadsheets. Now, for this one here, I've got an Excel spreadsheet with some sales data that's probably not gonna go on the instructor's page. So I'm gonna jump over to my sales page here. Here inside the sales page, I'm gonna click on my Insert Spreadsheet Tool. You'll see I have the ability to insert new Excel spreadsheets or an existing Excel spreadsheet. It's important to note that that new Excel spreadsheet button is no different than the one found underneath the table dropdown. You could also create a table from scratch, as we saw, and convert that to an Excel spreadsheet later. In this instance, however, we have an existing Excel spreadsheet we'd like to inject. So I'll give that tool a click. I'm going to go ahead and find that file, in this case here, Global Wine Sales, and I'm going to click Insert. This time, instead of getting just Insert or Attach, I also have a more specific style. Now let me show you Insert Spreadsheet first. You'll see that it does in fact insert the spreadsheet, but it also inserts a lot more than we intended, including all these blank cells. Even in the instance of my pivot table and chart, it includes some blank cells that may not necessarily be wanted. So let's take a look at that third option that we saw. I'm gonna undo, 
And once again, I'm going to click Existing Excel Spreadsheet. Global Wine Sales. However, instead of attaching a file, which would just give me the shortcut icon, or inserting a spreadsheet, which gave me too much, I'm going to select Insert a Chart or Table. You see, if content has been made a table inside of Excel, you can actually specify that you wouldn't necessarily want to display everything, or even an entire page. Instead, what you can do is say, I would like to insert just the table, or just the chart. I'll click OK, and there you go. Notice that there are no blank cells. It only inserted exactly what I wanted. So you can see that there is a modicum more control when it comes to dealing with Excel files inside of OneNote. Go ahead and pause the video and take this opportunity to embed external content from your computer into OneNote.